here and today we're going to talk about the slip stitch. The slip stitch is used often on blankets and flat panels because it gives you a nice uniform edge. So if I'm working on an ear warmer and I want it to be 12 pegs wide, then I need to cast on 14 pegs because we're going to be slip stitching the first peg and the last peg when we're doing our e-wrap and that's going to make those straight edges. I'm going to not wrap the first peg and I'm just going to start with the second pat peg and e-wrap all the way down. And I do e-wrap that last peg going um, this direction. And then pick over. Now when I come back the other way, what I like to do is turn my loom this direction because it makes it easier for me. And I'm doing the garter stitch. So going back, I'm going to do a purl stitch. So I'm skipping this first peg and I start purling on the second peg. But when I get to the very last peg, I always have to e-wrap my last peg on the row. Even if it's a purl row, here I am at the last peg and I'm going to e-wrap around that. Okay, now I'm turning it back this way. It's facing me again. And now I'm skipping my first peg. That's my slip stitch. I'm skipping it, starting with the second peg on my e-wrap. I'm going to do that process again, going all the way down. And of course, the last peg will be e-wrapped as well. So use this video the next time you come across a pattern that asks for the slip stitch. Until next time, happy looming!